No, your eyes are not tricking you, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody has finally done it. The first custom map that is playable? Look at it, it's a village down there. There's a castle. We're gonna have a castle siege in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. A Totally Accurate Castle Siege, a TACS. Wait a second, how did we get here? This, this almost looks like snow. What is up with these mountains? Oh my God, is this Mount Olympus? The king of all mountains, or is that Mount Everest? This is the tallest mountain I've ever seen. Totally accurate mountain simulator, Tams? Uh, I'm starting to think it's Mount Everest again because didn't ancient Greek mythology have cyclopses in it? That's a cyclops here. He's carrying a tree and a giant boulder. Who's he trying to fight? <laughs> His stupid brother, another cyclops who apparently cannot climb Mount Olympus here. This is, this is the clash of the gods. But yes, guys, this means a lot for Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. It means that people are already experimenting with custom maps. Look at this. This is gonna be great as they just knock each other down the mountain. But uh, this mod is made by Omega. There should be a link in the video description below. And look at this, man. They're playing bowling. <laughs> he just went sledding. We need some, you know what, we need these battles to be super silly. I know what you guys are thinking and I thought the same thing. This map needs more flying guys so when they go up, like look at how tall they are. We're on the top of Mount Everest I believe, I don't think this is Mount Olympus. It's called Everest in the files and now the units are falling and cascading down the mountain. I smote his ruin down upon the mountain. What movie is that from, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know. And honestly, the question of the day is this. Now that we have uh, the beginnings of custom maps here, I want to know what custom maps would you like made for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? One of the first ones I can think of is honestly Helm's Deep, the Death Star. I mean, there's just... An Ed, like, Echo base on the Hoth. Actually, the Death Star would be very boring, unless it fired a super laser. Maybe that could be a thing. Oh my gosh, this man. Look at him. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye forever, sir. Because as you fall down to the earth here, let's go back to slow motion. Let's, let's watch his impact. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is incredible. Like, you could just watch the battle from down here and see which units fall, because look at them. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Needless to say, crazy terrain like mountains are no place for tanks. So naturally, I decided to put the tanks there, because we might actually have right and proper UFOs as Da Vinci here flies his Da Vinci tank. Now it's turning. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right, guys. I know what you're thinking. It's War of the Worlds. Jules Verne is, is, is like, oh my god. It's the War of the Worlds, man. They're freaking alien UFOs. Uh, why do they decide to land? Oh my god. Wouldn't it be cool if the Da Vinci tank could, like, what if you could, like, modify it so it could have, like, helicopter blades on the top? So it could be a, a proper... That would be a good one. Landfall, if you're listening, and I sure hope you are, I would love to see, and I hope many of the community share this idea, that there's a secret Da Vinci tank that is actually aerial. It can fly, and this fourth, it would be an unidentified flying object. Because it's marvelous. Yeah, that, that's, that's super silly. I love this. What is this? A Beyblade? Oh my gosh, do you know what this is? They're all... This, this is... This is banjos. The Beyblade is just choosing random weapons. It seems to alternate. This one's a short and a, uh, a, a shield. This one's a katana and the knight shield. This is paintbrushes and staffs. This one is Zeus's bolts and fencing. So let, this is a man. What is a banjo? Oh my god! This is this is absolutely absurd, and I love it. So Reds just walked away with victory, which surprised me. So look at this, right? So this is what a Beyblade is. Let's see if we can't get in a little closer. Enhance, enhance. Oh, too enhanced. Okay, that one's got jousting sticks. That one does as well. That one has spears. That one has a new. <laughs> this one's all shields. <laughs> that one's all katanas. Is that wait? 
Hold on. What is this one? Is this one Da Vinci Tank on Da Vinci Tank? Oh, they're oars. <laughs> I keep it up. So this is the Beyblade mod, and this one is Reapers, Harvesters. Oh my god, they, they don't last very long. All right, I want to see them in action against infantry. I'm hoping they're spinning around like, look at this thing. This thing looks like a really nasty lawnmower, that thing from like that old school TV show called BattleBots. I don't know if they have any, uh ranged weapons on them though. All right, so I put out some riflemen. Oh, what was that? And some catapults. I want to see how they deal with catapults. These things are just like absolutely crazy <laughs> with all these melee weapons sticking out of them. Oh my god, that man just got his legs hacked. Oh, dude, that's just savage. Look at it. It like pops the flaps up. It looks like it's alive. It's like you know, from uh, Beauty and the Beast, where all the furnitures are alive, but instead of, like, you know, a teapot singing to you, be our guest, it's a freaking, like, giant angry thing with a lot of teeth. <laughs> and you're just wondering, how on earth is this even possible? And then you remember, oh yeah, it's, it's totally accurate. Hold on to your butts! <laughs> that guy's having such a bad day. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this, it's nighttime. And from Mount Olympus, the titans are loose from Tartarus, led by the mighty Cyclops and the Minotaurs as their infantry. Zeus and Artemis take up arms to stop this ancient threat from descending upon to the world of man. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if this army is really going to be able to stop. Oh my gosh, that's a heart shot. Unless Titan's hearts are located somewhere a little bit different. Oh, Zeus, you better run. Zeus, 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 run. Why, why didn't you? <laughs> he just got punched into a column. Oh! Artemis has saved another day because the tree hit the ice giant. Oh, no. That's not looking good. Artemis just got taken out. Oh, boy. The Titans are loose. It is dark, ominous night indeed. Man and God. All right, this seems to be a little bit better. You know, the 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 men, the God-fearing men or the gods-fearing men who would join Zeus and Artemis, since we don't have any other official gods or deities yet. Wait, hold on. We do have a little bit of Norse mythology, so they let their Valkyries join up. I feel like you know it's kind of like the good guys versus the bad guys, heaven versus hell, kind of a thing. You know, the flying angels and all that good stuff. But here we have, oh, Artemis has taken down another Minotaur. Zeus is up there, nearing the front lines. He's kind of hopping in front of the archers there. I don't know how he's going to do it. Oh my god! I don't know how that happened. But yeah, this is all to showcase, like, the night mod, which basically just turns the background to a darker one. And it kind of creates this really fun ambiance, especially if you kind of look in the background there. It's like, you know, a giant storm clouds over, ooh. Giant storm clouds over Greece as the titans have escaped Tartarus. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do. One of the things I would love to see is definitely more ancient Greece and Norse mythology, maybe even Egyptian unimods, but then maps to fit them. Like fighting outside the Egyptian pyramids, you know, Greek temples. Uh, I don't know, it'd be really cool to see people's attempt at like making Tartarus, the prison where the titans were locked up themselves. So here we go. Well, at least we know that that guy probably won't be able to reproduce anymore. Oh, Artemis just got smashed to the ground. The Titans are loose! <laughs> but why we're really here is the castle. Watch this. Oh, you place a unit, do you? Oh, I think I spawned in like four castles. All right, that's just one castle. So what we're gonna do is have a right and proper castle siege in Totally Accurate Castle Siege Simulator, or Tax. All right, I'm just kidding. Not about the castle siege. Gentlemen, this is Lord Ulrich's castle, and he's got a very derpy-looking llama in the f barnyard. It's, it doesn't really have a face. He's got one siege equipment, which is ironic considering he's on the receiving end of the siege. He's got a small detachment of soldiers and a great amount of archers. He, he read the Iliad and he thought, oh, Trojan archers on walls, that sounds like a great defense. But meeting him is... Oh god, his archers are jumping from the walls. 
I totally forgot that they're gonna do that because they can't hold position. So I wanted to send kind of like this uh, phalanx testudo shield wall. Oh my god! That catapult just destroyed everything. And have them march up this field, but honestly, Dabs guys, I guess, don't really like to fight on walls. Sieges are hard, guys. Uh, defending castles is just a tricky predicament when I don't really have any artificial intelligence whatsoever. Basic pathfinding is all I really got and maybe some target acquisition, but if you was to say, Hey, Baron, you've got a tactical acumen of a peanut, I'd say use was right if I could use my noggin. But yeah, they can't really be told what to do. This is a physics simulator, not really a tactic simulator. So we gotta reposition them. We gotta time it so they meet the edges of the walls. Oh, I just thought of this as I was placing these hoplites on the path. A Thermopylae map. An actual Thermopylae map with like really good or kind of buffed hoplites. You know, as Spartans. That'd be impressive. Oh yeah, hold on. We don't need any catapults ruining our siege, gentlemen. You may knock arrows. Hold on. I just realized that I can take part in the siege. Hello, boys! I am Sir Robin of the Hood! Hello! Shoo. Did I get one? Man, I, I gotta- I wish I could, like, customize my reload speed. I think I hit a shield there. But look at this! Oh, guys, stop jumping from the walls! This is our defensive point! I don't know if I got one or not. Oh god, this is bad. Because after all of them die, I guess who's gonna be coming for me? Right in your back! <laughs> I wish I could make myself, like, have a really good speed. Alright, I got another one. Uh-oh. Six seconds. Oh god. He's- he's trying to- What are you- Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> He jumped off the cliff, guys! Guys, I don't think they know how to get me. Or there's a guy just stuck down there. In the bodies, allowing me to do this. Hey, can you hold this arrow with your head? <laughs> Look at this, he did it! Thank you for, uh, you know... Uh oh this guy almost fell. Oh, headshot! Uh-oh. Hello, Baron, I was looking to end my life. Guys, what are you... Is there a dude still alive down there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm attracting them towards me. This is a bad idea. They're really fast! Ugh! Oh, there is a guy down there. Excuse me, gentlemen, I'm trying to see him. Yeah, he's somewhere down there. So the amazing thing about battle simulator games, at least in theory, is that you can create, like, a battle where it's a western army attacking an eastern army's fortress. Now, it obviously looks like a western European fortress, but... Hey, I can see really far! <laughs> Alright. I want to try the Chuko New here. Choo, 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 choo. We've got firework archers as well. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, what are these guys exploding for? Friendly? Oh, and, it, and he just auto fires. You shoot one time and it. Oh god, I better watch out. You better watch out. Fire! Fire! <laughs> I totally missed. All right, reload. Oh, he got taken out. Brilliant. Yes, I got him. Uh oh, this is bad. Uh. Sprint! Sprint! <laughs> Run to the higher- ah! Oh look, I'll just take command of somebody else. Alright, uh... Dude, you could do like Mountain Blade style sieges, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, we gotta hide. What's back here? Hopefully a getaway. Oh! Oh! Help me! He's got a really long neck! Alright, we've escaped over here. Me and my friend here. We'll call him Lee. Lee, watch out! Okay, good job, Lee. Good job, we did it. We're still alive. Oh, what are you doing down there, Mao? I don't know. I, uh, ooh, first person. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh! That's pretty terrifying. And now this guy's just retreating down the wall. Oh, and by him, I mean me. But I want to watch this. So yeah, like, isn't that awesome? Now, oh my god, some of these guys are just falling. If they fall down the steep side, I think they just die. Or they, when they hit too hard, that's what happens, and look at that. Ah! You can imagine sledding on a shield. Oh, this guy is about to walk himself out of the battlefield. Oh, headshot! I think he's still alive. <laughs> and in the same vein, what if an Eastern army had to go up against a Renaissance era faction? Musketeers, a Da Vinci tank. What better purpose for a Da Vinci tank than a siege? No, I'm not sure, as this guy's flying off into, you know, space right there, if this thing's gonna be able to climb this hill or not. 
but uh, we've got a bunch of musketeers. We got some hall barriers up here, just taking it into the kisser right there. With regards to those firework arrows. All right. Oh, I pressed left click. Wait, what's space? Whoa! What did I do? What, did, what was space? Fire! Oh my God! I love first person mode. Oh, the hall bear. Oh, we, we got it. Oh! I got freaking sniped by a musketeer. But I think all tabs needs now is to be able. Look at this idiot. Uh oh, he's not so dumb anymore. Is to be able to put guys on hold position. Oh! <laughs> that was glorious. Where did those bolts come from? Oh, the musketeers are sneaky, and look at that, the siege tank never even got into battle. Let's reverse it, shall we? Da Vinci is holed up in his castle, gentlemen. He's working on his next greatest contraption, but it is the soldiers from the Orient who are looking to take over his fortress and his technology and rule the world. So naturally, they've got to, you know, defend the base here. I put a Hawatch in here, and I don't think it was a very good idea. Let's actually see if the Hawacha can shoot that giant group of soldiers that are coming out here. The samurai are doing a pretty good job at uh, blocking some musket shots. Or so it looked. Oh, that looks like it's not accurate. It's not- I wouldn't say- oh, never mind. It's totally accurate! Who am I kidding? This isn't called that isn't accurate. This is totally accurate battle simulator. Alright, so now it's ranged versus ranged with a couple extras. Uh, and uh, there were until they got taken out here. All right, I'm gonna take command of one of these guys. Fire charge! There's musketeers on the walls. Can I hit him? Oh, I think I may have hit him once. Ooh, someone tried to shoot me. I don't know what the space bar does. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is awesome. It's like charging the fort. You could, you could make. Oh man, who needs Banner Lord when you've got totally aggro battle simulator seizures? Excuse me, use your legs. All right, I got that guy. Reload. There's only one left, gentlemen. Hold on. I'm scared, boss. Oh! oh! Yeah, I got shot right in the old uh, right ball, I think. What sort of army? What sort of threat upon the world would get all of the factions to join together to combine their soldiers to defend Da Vinci in his keep as he seeks new technologies to make this man's head normal size. Anyway, well, it would have to be all of the monsters and titans in the game joining up together to charge. Whoops. The castle. <laughs> Look at that. The mammoth is out front. I really love it. Oh my god, he's just taking arrows to the face. That mammoth's going down fast, man. There's so much ranged stuff up here. Hold on. Oh god, I wanna, I wanna see what it's like from up here. Actually, I don't know. Oh my god, fire! Whoa, dude, what's going on with the... Oh, that's the glitch. He's being healed by a priest is what's happening. So there's still Zeus, there is still Artemis, and there's still enough titans out here that I'm not sure... Oh, whoa. The Ulra looks like he's bigger than everybody. Now, is that normal or is that just like we got some random sizing issues? Oh, the ice giant just fell. It's just the tree giant, but he's slipping on all the bodies and getting pushed back by ranged fire. The Uhura just got wrecked. Artemis is firing. Oh, yes. The ballista bolt knocked him down and look at him. He's gonna start rolling down the hill there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Is the Uhura still alive? Someone's gotta get Artemis. Oh, this is not good. There's a Chuko new here. He's, oh, Artemis, goddess of the hunt. Oh, it looked like she had eyebrows for a second with her haircut. Looks like she was mad. All right, so what can they do? Hmm, I guess they could call in the sensei. They're gonna call in the sensei? There's already a shogun and some taekwondo men. All right, so we added a little bit to each side here. We also put in some more Valkyries for hopefully some chaos, but look at that. Uru was perfect, man. That was brilliantly done, sir. All right, let's, oh, get out of my way, mate. Whoa, 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 chill boys, chill. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fire some ice arrows down there at the ice giant. That seems like maybe not the best thing to do. Look at this, we've got red jade up in here. I just saw her weapon, where did she go? There she is, she's holding it behind her back. Yeah, the battle for the castle is absolutely chaos and I love it. 
But last time we saw Artemis just kicking butt. I don't think she's gonna have enough this time. Oh my gosh. But yeah, like imagine as this castle gets fleshed out. Oh my god, this guy took an axe to the head. He's not sitting too pretty. You can get Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, the, you know, the Siege of Pike, of King's Landing. There's so many maps you could do. So I'm curious, guys, what maps would you like to see in Totally Active Battle Simulator, whether they be modded or official? Because we're gonna get the pirate faction, but if there's more map support, which it's happening already, that people have figured out a way to do it. Look at this. Ballista on it. Like, this is the defenses right here. <laughs> But imagine if they could like hold position or you know, just maybe a little increase to defensive AI or something Look this this ninja's helping out. I think that would be amazing and I would love to see it in totally accurate battle simulator Thank you all so much for watching another episode Let me know if you want to see more what you'd like to see and I'll see you guys there